So you may be an editor looking to edit as a hobby or a content creator looking to edit your first video that's on a professional level to upload to your channel. Either way, I'm here to show you how to make that process go by smooth and easy with minimal hassle. I'm going to be showcasing everything from importing your footage all the way to rendering that high quality final product. This will all be done in DaVinci Resolve 18. It's a free software that you can actually download today or even learn how to use if you're following along for the first time to this video. Everything you need will be in the description. Sit back, relax, and let's get right into it. All right, the first thing you're going to do is literally open up DaVinci Resolve, open a new project, and literally name it whatever. It doesn't even matter. From there, we're going to go into our, our edit tab, and we're just going to set up the actual project for us to actually edit in. So we're going to go here to file, project settings, and we're just going to change our frame rate to 60. And you can make sure your quality is good as well. I have 1920 by 1080. That's actually what I use for all my videos. And we're just going to press save to save our changes. So when it comes to importing media, literally all you have to do is every single asset you want for a video. So let's just say um, our footage is a clip right here. So so we got that and then let's say we have something else that we want to import so for example let's say we have this one too uh, we have these two videos right here and you can literally just drag it and drop it and also if we really want to get a head start we can drag in our background music to use in advance so I'm gonna to touch up on that in the future so stay with me for actually that step there so once you have all your footage in your timeline typically the first step for your video is to cut everything out that you don't want to be using uh, so what I do is I always go through all my footage and I cut out dead space so to do this, uh, you could either press B on your keyboard to activate the blade tool or directly click on it here. And I'm literally just going to zoom in and cut out between every single dead space right here, just like this. And obviously for you guys, it's going to be a lot longer in terms of the footage that you're cutting out. Um, but I have a shorter clip that's about a minute long, so I don't have a lot of dead space. But, you know, for you guys with 10 minute videos, it's going to look a lot longer. Uh, literally, all I got to do from here is either press delete and manually drag over myself. But a cool shortcut you can learn right off the bat is clicking and pressing shift and delete at the same time, which literally will just bring your footage all together. So they are coincidentally like right after each other. So they're actually in uh, consequential order. So that's pretty much how you cut your footage up and it's pretty simple you know that's how you do the first step to editing a video once you do that a handy syncing kind of flow tip that i can give you guys is the way that you overlay your video so for example right here we can see at the very end of my clip i have a bit of runoff so what i'm going to be doing is in order to improve my flow i'm going to drag this clip above this one drag it over a bit so we can see that this is dead audio right here and i'm just going to literally go like that that's how you do it uh and i pretty much just do that for my entire video and i'll literally just overlap and uh yeah it's it's pretty simple that's pretty much just how you do flow i do that with almost every single clip in my entire video just to have the flow consistent all throughout i don't have any dead space i don't have it where it's like you are gonna watch you know it's just like i have it just for flow purposes pretty simple and that's pretty much how you do that and once you have your intro ready to go it's pretty simple um so for the beginning portion of the video uh, what you want to do is you want to start out with something that intrigues the viewer obviously when you're recording you might have some sort of hook in your script um and all you got to do from there to add an effect to go along with it i like to start out every single video with this cool zoom out effect that you probably saw in the intro of this video i drag in an adjustment clip here for my effects library i literally go into the fusion tab right here i'll press Control space to bring up the select tool type in transform press add just like that i will drag the size to five at the beginning and press this little Little circle button here to keyframe and I'll go about 40 frames in and change the size back to one click on spline up here press this checkbox drag this up to give us more space press this arrow thing press Control a s and you're literally gonna want to copy this graph here trust me this will change your videos take it to the next level that's how you do that that's pretty much how you can captivate the audience's attention and you know it's a great tactic to have in all your videos something you could also do is literally just like grabbing something like a lens blur so if i wanted to i just type in lens blur and drag that in at the beginning and at the very beginning i'm going to keyframe four go to like where it zooms out and just drag it to zero and that's just how you can utilize different intro effects that are super basic, um, change your video and make it look a lot more professional. So that's how you do that. So when it comes to subtitling, I'm gonna quickly go through my footage and lay some markers down for words. Subtitling is the most tedious thing when it comes to video editing. All you have to do is literally go through and add a bunch of markers. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be looking for like the ends of clumps of words. So for the many of you, I'll probably do so for the many of you. So I'll do so for separately, the many of you, and then I'll do something else. So this is pretty much a basic example of how you do that. So I have, so for the many of you watching this video, you probably want to become some sort of 
freelance editor and that's pretty much how you do that so um i'm just gonna drag in a subtitle layer right here and i'm gonna get my settings set up so for this i use franklin uh or franklin gothic demi cond or something like that change the color to yellow super easy literally drag up the font size just like this and then what i do is i add a drop shadow i'm gonna go more in depth about subtitle settings in a second here and i'm going to also adjust the positioning as well and we're gonna bring the size down to maybe like 100 about 100 let's do 125 and then what i'm gonna do is i'm literally gonna cut on every single marker that we laid down because that's the beginning of every sentence so i will change this to Okay, so that's pretty much everything done here. Uh, it's a bit big in terms of the subtitles, so I'm gonna turn that down, drag this down right here. That's pretty much how I have the subtitles done. Uh, that's pretty much how you do it from a surface level. So uh, I'm gonna be highlighting quickly the effects that DaVinci Resolve offers for subtitles right off the bat. So uh, we got some stroke here. So if we go and I zoom in, we can see stroke adds a bit of an outline, adding a little outline does not look the worst i typically don't do it um but yeah and then you guys have obviously seen drop shadow uh something that i incorporate into my own videos and uh, yeah those are pretty much the only two you need to know um so if you want to copy my settings for that you can go ahead and do that and uh, yeah it's pretty simple all right so when it comes to transitions let's imagine we have our entire intro done we have subtitles uh throughout the entire thing all we got to do is just let's say we're going to our body of the video right here we're just going to go get an adjustment layer just like we did with the intro effect and we're going to go into the fusion tab so from there what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to bring up a transform right here using control uh space bar to actually bring up that select tool that we just looked at and i'm going to quickly show you the two most important frames that we need to be focusing on are these two frames right here which are the two like the last frame of the first clip and the first frame of the second clip so those are two important things don't get them confused um so what we're gonna be doing let's say we want like a zoom transition um i'm gonna be setting this to like 1.5 maybe and then i'm gonna go one frame before and change this to like 0.5 i think that's about inverse so you're gonna want to go like 30 frames back change it back to one and then i'm gonna go 30 frames from here change it to one as well so we can see we have a base level of a transition we're gonna go into our spline to actually fix this go into size press this little arrow thing right here press Control a and then we're actually just going to edit each point just like this and you're gonna want to copy this graph because this is the most important step to actually make this transition look good so pretty much just once you've done that we can see we got that basic zoom out transition. It looks great. I love it. I'm a fan of these transitions. I use them in my own videos, but that's pretty much how you can incorporate transitions into your videos. If you want to watch me dive into transitions specifically, go watch the transitions tutorial I'll have in the description. But pretty much everything that I covered in this video, all you got to do is repeat the steps until you have that final video, add your transitions, you know, cut up your footage, overlay it so you have the flow on point. I showed you guys how to do cutting, basic effects, subtitles, transitions overlaying footage and syncing lastly all you really need to do is add that background song that you've had in your timeline for this entire time just waiting for the perfect opportunity to add it drag it down to the size of the timeline itself and then all that's left to do from there is render it out so i'm going to be going over some rough render settings that i use for my own videos you're pretty much going to name the file whatever first youtube video for example let's say and then we just find a file location to actually save it to so for me i'm going to save it to my youtube videos folder and then for our quality we're just gonna have it on 160,000 uh, kilobytes a second for the bitrate and I'm gonna change this to constant bitrate itself and literally from there we add it to the render queue press render all and that's pretty much how you do that congratulations you've edited your very first professional level YouTube video like comment subscribe if this video helps you out